Hi everyone, welcome to Kegler TV, made by Kegler and for Keglers. At Kegler TV, we talk about machine learning competitions and data science career development. Before we get started, I have a quick update to share with you. After uploading the competition pipeline demo video, many people asked for more details. So Orkut, a competition expert I introduced in the last video, wrote a blog post to explain more details about the Kegler competition pipeline. You can find the links to the blog post here at the top, as well as in the description below. Hope it helps. In the last video, we talked about how to organize and manage code and tasks at competitions using GitHub. In the video, I noticed that you shouldn't use GitHub to manage either data files or output files. Today, let's talk about how to organize and share these data files and output files at competitions. First, let's talk about how to organize files on your local system. Then, we will talk about how to share these files with other team members. As I showed in the demo video, I use a folder structure as follows. First, the input folder for original data files. This folder name is the same as the folder name for data files in Kaggle kernels. For an advanced user, I keep the data folder in my home directory, which has a subfolder for each competition. Then I create a sim link of that folder within my competition working directory. This way, it's easier to use an external hard drive for all the data files. Next, the build folder for all the output files generated during the competition. It has subfolders like the feature folder for feature files, the model folder for trained model files and feature important files, the valve folder for cross validation predictions, the TST folder for test predictions, the subfolder for submission files, the metric folder for CV scores, and the log folder for log messages for different steps. Also, I use the same naming convention across all these folders. For example, for a feature name J1, training feature file is named j1.train.csv and test feature file is j1.tst.csv. For a model name LGV1, trained with feature J1, the CV prediction is named lgv1 underscore j1.val.txt. Test prediction is named lgv1 underscore j1.tst.txt. And the submission file is lgv1 underscore j1.sub.csv. With this folder structure and naming convention, I can easily locate any files if necessary. You don't need to follow my folder structure or naming convention, but find the ones that works for you the best and use those consistently across competitions. It will make you a lot more efficient at competitions and make it easier to manage all these files. Next, let's talk about how to share these files with other team members. When you work as a team with other Kagglers, oftentimes it's not enough to share just the code with the team. For example, suppose that one finds very strong features that improve the model performance significantly, but it takes a really long time to generate. Similarly, if one builds a model that performs great but takes a lot of computational resources, in both cases, to take advantage of the improvement quickly, it's necessary to share output files, either generated features or trained models with the team. The challenge is that these files can be quite big in size and the number of files might increase over time. Also, what if one changes the file at one point while others keep using the older version? For this, there are two kinds of services we can choose. First option is a cloud file syncing app like Microsoft OneDrive, Dropbox, or Google Drive. It's very easy to set up. It provides a seamless experience between the cloud folder and your local folders on the local system. But the downside is that without a paid subscription, the space you get 
is only a couple of gigabytes. And if your team needs more space, then every team member needs to subscribe to the paid plan individually, which can be quite expensive. Also, if you use your server, either on the cloud or dedicated, you should transfer files manually between your local and the server. Second option is a cloud storage platform like AWS S3, Azure Blob, or Google Cloud Storage. It charges only for the space you use, and you can share the space you have with the team without additional cost for other team members. Also, if you use cloud servers such as AWS EC2, Azure VM, Google Compute Engine, then you can access these storages easily. The downside is that it's relatively more complex to set up and if you use it only for yourself, it can be even more expensive than the paid subscription of the file syncing app. So my recommendation is that if you work on your local machine and you work with a small team who can all agree to use the same file syncing app, then you can use a file syncing app such as Dropbox, Microsoft OneDrive, or Google Drive. However, if you work on a server or you work with a big team, then I recommend that you go with the cloud storage platform such as S3, Azure Blob, or Google Storage Service. If you use a file syncing app, then it's convenient to create a shared competition folder within the cloud folder, then symlink the folder within your working competition folder and use it as a build folder that contains all the subfolders such as feature, model, val, TST, sub, as discussed earlier. If you use a cloud storage platform, you can simply sync your local build folder with a S3 bucket, Azure Blob, or Google Storage. I will put some references for AWS S3, which is the most popular cloud storage platform in the description below. All right, today we talked about how to organize data in output files and also discussed different options to share these files with other team members during competitions. Again, these tips are useful not only for competitions, but also for any data science projects. I hope you find today's video helpful. Please share your feedback and content request at Kaggle TV GitHub. The link is available below in the description. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Please subscribe our video.